Hello everyone and welcome back to another Ready or Not video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to install mods for Ready or Not with Vortex Mod Manager. But before we go into the video, if you're new here, consider subscribing for more videos like this in the future. Now let's get to it. Alright, first things first, what we need to do is we're gonna go to our Google, we're gonna find nexusmods.com, which I have already here. We're gonna go in and then from here, the first step that we need to do uh, and make sure is to create an account if uh, you guys don't have one already for nexus.com. So if you don't have one, just go ahead, create one and it should be good. The second step, what we need to do is we're gonna go to search bar, we're gonna search for Vortex. The first thing that pops up, which is this one, we're gonna select this one. This is gonna be the Vortex mod manager that we're gonna do for today. So uh, we're gonna go to file section, we're gonna hit manual download. If uh, you don't have these ones, uh, make sure to install these ones before you download the Vortex itself, because otherwise it's not gonna work. So we're gonna hit download for Vortex, and it show, uh, it's gonna come up like this. And then we're gonna hit uh, select slow download, and it's gonna download it for us, and then we need to install it afterwards. After you guys done with those and you installed the Vortex Mod Manager, we're just gonna leave this one. And then after you guys are done with Vortex, uh, we're gonna click on it and load it up. It's gonna load it up, open us the Vortex Mod Manager app, which is this. As you can see, this is gonna be the page that it's gonna bring you on, which is the dashboard area. So from here, another important thing that you need to uh, make sure of is to uh, basically put the same account name or the same account that you have on nexusmods.com on the website. Make sure to have the same account over here on Vortex Mod Manager as well. So here it should say for you log in. So you're gonna just press log in and put the same account that you have here. Make sure it's the same one. Cause it's, if it's not, then the, your whatever mod you download and for you want to install it on Vortex and you have a different account on Vortex, then uh, it's not gonna obviously work. So because of that, make sure to have the same account as you have on uh, nexus.com. After that's done, what we need to do is we're gonna go into games. From here, uh, where it says search for a game, for you obviously you're not going to have any games in here to manage, so you're going to go ahead and uh, search for ready or not, and then it should bring you up this, and it should say also to install the extension, or vortex extension ready or not, whatever it's going to say for you. After you installed it, uh, your vortex is going to restart, and you're going to go back to the dashboard area and then you when you go into games you're ready or not should be already there so after that it's simply done the next step is to go to our settings on vortex just simply copy everything that i have done here that i have here basically enable all these and turn off uh, some of them that i don't have and then in vortex section we're gonna have the multi-user mode per user this is for when you don't have two different accounts on Nexus and Vortex. So because of that, that's why I said uh, you should just stick to one account on both sides. Uh, so for, for that one, per user updates table. For mod section, this is also important. You have to select your game directory pathway for ready or not. If you're unsure about it, you just go to Steam. Right click on ready or not, properties, installed files, browse location. And this should be your pathway. So basically this PC, new volume D, Steam library, Steam apps, common, and then ready or not. So after you know how to do that, then you go back here to vortex and you either select it manually like this, or you just hit suggest, which is the best option on vortex. You just hit suggest and it should do a suggestion for you for the pathway that you have on your game. So basically, as it correctly did to uh, to the pathway, for me it was volume D, 
and then it's going to create a new folder called vortex mods and then my pathway for ready or not make sure to have this on as well and then for development method you're going to have this on hard link development when you selected that one you're just going to hit apply on both uh, both of them and then it should say deploying or digesting or whatever in the notification section there if not then that's fine after you hit apply this is literally it for vortex right now after this step what we're gonna do for the next step is to go back on our nexusmods.com website we're gonna find our game which is ready or not we're gonna go to ready or not and from here just simply download any mod that you would like so for example since i already downloaded this which is the uh yeah so uh, handguard for uh, 14.5 inch m4 block 2 or whatever you want to call it and it sh it says here uh, it replaces sr16 in game so and also a quick important note if you see a requirement section in the description of that mod make sure to download that specific requirement that it's needed for this mod in order to work because otherwise uh, obviously it's not going to work without this one uh, kinda but if it doesn't say required then obviously you don't have to uh, download this one you can just download this gun and then uh, you're good to go but if it says required for example if we go to attachment uh, expansion this mod which is really cool so many of you probably are using it and some of you want to use it and you don't know how to you just come to this and you go to requirements section for this attachment expansion mod what you need to do is to install right here it says required required if you see this one you're gonna have to install this specific mod before you can install the attachment expansion after you downloaded that one you can come back to the attachment uh, expansion file file section and from here you're gonna hit mod manager download we're not gonna hit manual download if you want to check out my manual installation for mods on ready or not you can check my video on top right but if you want to use the vortex you're just gonna select the mod manager download you're gonna select it and it should say slow download you can hit slow download and it's gonna give us a couple of seconds to wait and as you can see for me it says file already exists so i'm not gonna download it again but for you since you don't have any mods uh, as soon as you hit mod manager download slow download it's gonna pop up in your download section and then it should say like 20% done all the way going up until it's finished and when it's finished it's gonna give you a little pop-up notification and your mod is gonna be in this section basically for mods section when you see it here it should say enabled and all that kind of stuff if it's not enabled you're gonna hit uh, disable or enable again until it works so basically like this the cool thing about this uh, vortex mod manager is that you can basically enable or disable whenever you want to for your games so if for example you don't want any of these mods for example i don't need this mod so i'm gonna hit disable and it's with just one button it already is disabled so yep yeah, that is it really simple if you want any other mods you can just go ahead do the same thing as i did so for example update available for this one you're gonna go in uh, file section mod manager download and then when you download it it's automatically gonna put it in your vortex mod manager section that easy so now let's try out our mods see if they are working as you can see we tried to install attachment expansion so let's try that one if it's working all right when we are in the game uh, we're just gonna go ahead to our lockers room as you can see uh, already I have a modded gun already here in my hand but still I'm gonna show it to you guys to make sure I'm gonna go to lockers yeah there you go as you can see I have a I had a mod for ARWC 
which is uh, this one. So since we down we try to download the attachment expansion, we're gonna go to optics area. In optics, okay, now we already see that it is working. We have the new uh, Comp M4S, we have the EOTech with the uh, magnifier, and then we have the Fast 2 uh, T, uh, T2 tall uh, black version for our optics area. For the muzzles, we have the SLX 556 uh, for grip. For some guns, you don't have other attachments for it but as we can see already it is working I had a different gun mod so as you can see we can select different attachments for this different uh, laser sights different grips different uh, muzzles Ooh, this is nice let's select this one so yeah guys as, as you can see we have different attachments and all that kind of stuff we're gonna select these ones we're gonna go back try to save this since this is cool and then yeah let's go out yeah as you can see very beautiful it is working we can already see that our pistol mod it is working so that's basically it guys, if you have any questions make sure to uh, ask them in the comments down below. If you have any other suggestions or anything that you might to, uh, say, make sure to leave it down in the comments section below as well. So with that being said, thanks for watching, I hope you guys learned something new today and I will see you guys in the next video.